Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Stormworks. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can automatically have a door close behind you. Sometimes you just forget to close your door, you're up on the bridge of your ship, you look in a third person view and you think, crap, forgot to close the door. You can either make sure that you just go back, you can train yourself to close the door, or you can set up a very simple circuit to make sure it automatically closes. These are the door types that you usually have, either a sliding door or uh, a standard um, hinge door. You can even use something along the lines of a hatch, but that's a little bit outside the scope of this tutorial. What I have currently is setting up a single toggle button two-sided so I can go in and I have to remember to push the button or the door won't close. Similar here, you go through and maybe you open it, you go through, uh, eventually you get to the bridge of your ship or you get to the bow. You look back and you think, ah, oh, crap, I forgot the door. So we need to make sure that that doesn't happen. For that, we're going to go back into the workbench. Now, what we need is a capacitor. And a capacitor is very simple uh, in its use. As it says in the tooltip here, it charges up when receiving an on signal and discharges a period over a period of time. In case that's not entirely clear, when this thing gets a signal, it says, okay, I'm going to charge, I'm going to wait for something to happen, and then I'm going to discharge it over a, over a specific signal or a specific period of time. Here's how that works. You set it down, and unfortunately, this thing needs a push button. It doesn't work too well with toggles, because if you set a toggle signal, you're basically sending a constant on signal. That's not what the capacitor needs. The capacitor needs to fire. So you send a signal, it says, okay, I'm going to charge, I'm going to discharge, and that's all that I'm going to do. You don't want a constant on signal. So what I'm going to do is switch these from toggle to two-sided push button. This can be a bit tedious if you need to do this for all of your uh, doors on your ship, aircraft, or whatever else you've built. But unfortunately, it's the only way that you can do it. Now make sure that these things draw power. The capacitor itself doesn't need power, at least not in the current build 5.23. You're gonna go into data and you're going to take the input from the doors. So this two-sided push button goes into the capacitor. That's the input. The output from the capacitor goes to the door. So you're setting up a sort of go-between. Now, the key thing here is how you set up the capacitor. It signals that you need to wait a couple of signal, or you may need to wait a couple of seconds before something happens, or you need to wait until the off signal gets sent. If I were to wait a couple of signals or seconds before the on signal gets sent, then the door is going to take a couple of seconds before it opens. I don't want that. I want the door to open immediately. But I do want the door to automatically close after, let's say, three seconds. That's all that you need to do, zero and three. Depending, of course, on the distance between your on signal and your door. Now, with these doors, the large hinge ones, it can be a bit of a problem. Because you send an on signal and the door takes about a second, maybe a second and a half to open. So you send the on signal, I go through it, I'm on my way to the bridge, and the door has been closed behind me. If you set this capacitor too low, so say two seconds, it might not give you enough time to go through. So in these, uh, in the case of these large doors, I recommend that you take about three seconds. The other one is a bit faster because it's a sliding door. It doesn't need to um, expand too much before you're able to use it. So in this case, I'm gonna send my push button to the capacitor and the output signal from the capacitor goes to the door. What's going to happen now is that if I press this double-sided push button, both doors open. I don't need that most of the time, but there it is. So in this case, it opens immediately. Um, I'm well through, and you can see that it immediately closes behind me, but this one takes a little longer to close if you would time them. Let's say it takes about half a second for that one to close, maybe a second or second and a half for that one. That's all that you need to do if you have access to the two-sided push button. You might not have that yet. In career, you unlock these things randomly. So you might not have the two-sided push button yet. If you don't, 
then you can still use two single push buttons, but you're gonna have to use a uh, setup which is slightly different. This is my button on the outside of, let's say, the ship. This is the one on the inside. Unfortunately, a capacitor can only take one input signal. So I can have it from either this push button or from the other one. And it immediately replaces and disables the one from the other push button. If that's the case, then you need to use an XOR. This thing means that you take the signal from either one or the other, and that's the way that it does work. So one goes into the A input, the other one goes into the B input, and it really doesn't matter which is which. And then I go from the output there to the input of the capacitor. So now I can use either of these push buttons. Now I provide them with a bit of power, and let's test it out. Move to the platform, push the button, door opens, I go through, door closes. That's one side, and the other side works just as well. That's all there is to it. That is all there is to it. The capacitor in this case is your friend. It'll allow you to open the door and have it closed automatically. And you can have, of course, make, or you can make these things as advanced as you want. You can have a door that opens, um, you go through it, you wait a couple of seconds, then you expect another door to open and you've created something along the lines of a watertight chamber. And of course, there's no pumps in there yet, I know, but you can use and build this as advanced as you can possibly dream it up. Anyway, that's it. Just use the capacitor, link it up, use X or if you have still the standard push buttons. And remember, these things use push buttons. Toggle does not work. Have any questions? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to see any other tutorials, need further help, let me know down in the description or down in the comments below, or have a look in the description and you'll see the playlist with the other tutorials that I have for this game. Hope this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up so other people can find it more easily. And of course, have a look at the other tutorials if you need further help. Thank you for watching. See you soon for more.